So I want to start off this video with just giving a general how do you feel update. Uh, people have been asking me what my experiences are, how I'm feeling doing this thing. Uh, today is day 15 actually, so over two weeks in now. And I think I can finally speak about what I'm honestly feeling and I have enough time doing this that I basically know uh, how it's going to be for the next couple of weeks at least. A couple of changes that I've noticed um, from day one to now, my digestion has been so much better. Like I don't get bloated, I don't get gassy, I don't have uh, digestion issues, I don't have really like anything that makes me uncomfortable. Because in the past, like bad digestion would honestly sometimes depress me and make me feel like crap. But I really don't have that problem on this on this uh, fruit diet, on this raw diet. So that's one positive thing. Uh, a negative thing that I've noticed is that my energy levels and mood are just so all over the place. Like constantly, I'm either feeling like really good or I'm feeling like really down. I'm either just really motivated or I'm just completely like not. So it's just my mood, like I've just been feeling, literally mentally and physically, I've been feeling all over the place. Uh, yesterday was the first day that I basically felt great the whole day. Uh, but this morning, again, I don't feel nearly as good as I did yesterday. Uh, I am getting some mucus out of my throat and my nose is constantly stuffed up. That is one thing that I have noticed. I do have some other questions I do want to address from the last video in this one. Okay, first question by Riley Hampson. How's the training going? Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I'm not training during this whole detox thing. Uh, I am way too unstable, honestly. Like, like I told you, one second I'm motivated, one second I'm not. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get through this whole stage of just randomness and uh, fluctuation in my mood and energy. Uh, once I get past this and I get more stable and like balanced out, then I'll go back to uh, exercising. Dina, uh, her question, there's actually three parts to this one. First of all, I think it's great you're focusing on health and the future of your health. Thank you. Uh, second, I'd like to hear more about how you feel during this process. So how's your mind body functions uh, reacting to this transition? Can you name me some changes? Yeah, like I said, mind and body been erratic all over the place. Like I've been way more mindful in my life and I've been more aware of other people. Like what I used to do is like I used to when someone acted a certain way towards me, I would judge them based on that. But now I'm starting to realize like why people are so mad, you know? Like why? Because people feel like shit. People feel terrible and that's why they take it out on other people. Because I used to be similar, like I used to feel bad and I would convey that. Maybe not on purpose, but that's just how it would happen. Uh, and honestly, I'm just, like ever since this has started, I've just been more aware of other people. And uh, I don't want to say I haven't been judgmental, that's not true. I'm still working on that, that's just a work in progress. Everyone, everyone's judgmental. But I've been really trying to understand where people come from and whatever they do, because every action has a reason behind it. And I'm just trying to, just tried to be more mindful and aware of that. My stool, how's your stool compared to before? Yes, the poop question. Uh, my stool has been very loose. Uh, that's, that's all I'm gonna say about it. It's been very, very loose. Uh, I can't really, I don't know. That's, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, I've been going more than usual. Uh, I used to just go one time a day. One time a day in the morning, that was the only time. But now I usually go once in the morning and once in the evening, uh, whether it's like before dinner or before I go to bed. But there have been a couple of days in this last two weeks that I actually have gone three times. I've gone morning, afternoon, and then evening. So yeah, it's been a lot more frequent and it's been very loose. But I do think it'll uh, even out a little bit better. Joey's challenges. Uh, Joey, he's a longtime subscriber of mine. Do you find it tempting to eat anything else in your house? Yes, man. Yes, I find it tempting. I'm constantly craving stuff. Uh, I have not gotten over that hump at all. Uh, every day it's something new. Every day. Uh, the other day I saw, I don't know if you guys remember from my, uh, my school lunch, lunchbox challenge or whatever I did with the storm. Uh, 
the Lunchables I had from that challenge, or I, I mean, I've had Lunchables a lot as a child, but I was just craving Lunchables so bad yesterday. And I don't, like, I, I consider those like the epitome of junk. Like literally, I would never touch them, never think about them. But I don't know, yesterday I just had an, a ridiculous desire to eat them. And uh, also Reese's peanut butter cups. I do not crave peanut butter, I just crave peanut butter cups with chocolate and sugar. It's, yeah, yeah, I do find it tempting. Uh, my mom does a lot of home cooking. She does, my mom cooks healthier food than what you would find anywhere else, like processed foods or foods in restaurants, which is kind of tempting, because she does cook uh, cooked foods that are a lot healthier than average foods you would find. So a lot of the time I do try to justify eating a bite of that, you know, because it is, oh, it's not that bad, you know. But at the end of the day, it still will uh, break the challenge. It will uh, wreck my goals and it will get in the way of the process. So got to resist it, got to resist it. Eric the Electric, malabsorbed. Have you had a medical professional tell you this? And good luck with your experiment. I appreciate it, Eric. Uh, no, I do not trust medical professionals with nutrition. I trust medical professionals with urgent care. Uh, such as getting stitches, uh, recovering for a car accident, surgeries, uh, that kind of stuff. I do not believe medical professionals professionals are professionals in nutrition. You do not learn about nutrition in medical school and whatever you do is very minuscule and oftentimes incorrect. So leave nutrition to the nutrition experts and do not go to medical professionals for nutrition. The reason I know that I'm malabsorbed is first of all, uh, I'm extremely skinny, so I'm very skinny. My body it just does not maintain. Because I do know earlier I did have better absorption because in high school I had a lot more lean mass and then I began losing it around uh, 12th grade. My senior year in high school I began losing my lean mass. Uh, a lot of it was due to me not eating enough calories, but uh, long story short, I basically drove my body to hell that year and the acidosis completely wrecked my organs and glands uh, in, in just that one year uh, just from not eating enough and exercising too much. Um, I haven't really talked about that but I will in future videos. Uh, just like everyone else man, Every, everyone's gone through something like this and uh, of course I have too. So yeah, I know I'm malabsorbed because I'm exceptionally skinny and my body does not hold its own lean mass uh, without stimulants. I would have to pump very dense proteins to gain muscle, which is not optimal. Uh, I do have a choice between pumping proteins or detoxing, and I chose detoxing uh, for more than one reason. For more than one reason, so that's that. Okay, that's pretty much it for the questions, guys. I'm sorry these videos have been so simple and sporadic. My motivation is just not there. I'm just not motivated most days of the week to make videos. Um, I don't know, it's just my, my mental state right now. I just want to focus on relaxing and uh, I will continue to make videos, don't worry about it. I'll make myself one way or another, I'll force myself to make them. I just don't know how often I'll be able to make them right now until this whole thing ends. But yeah, I will continue making videos for you guys, hopefully full day of eating videos. I am eating a lot more now, that's another thing. I'm eating a lot more than I used to. I used to struggle to get like 12 to 1500 calories a day those first few days, but now I'm between 2000 and 2500 a day. So that's a great improvement. Uh, I've just, I think that may be a co contributor to me feeling better, uh, just more carbs in general. Yeah, with that, I'm gonna close out this video, guys. I really don't have anything else to say. Thank you so much for watching my videos and asking questions and supporting me along the way. It means so much. You guys don't even know. like. I would not have the motivation to make more videos if it weren't for you guys supporting my videos and uh, commenting and liking and uh, people subscribing because at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. That's who you're doing it for. You're trying to, you're trying to build an audience, uh, build a channel, get your message out and make friends in the process. And I feel like my channel is uh, slowly but surely getting to that point and it's really exciting to see that happen. So thank you everyone for making that possible. I hope the garbage truck in the background is not too... Sucks not having an external mic. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been King Carb. Live life, enjoy life, carb up. And I'll see you guys in the next video.